everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm nicole and today we are going to be drawing none other than the tallest land mammal on earth a giraffe um so what you're going to be needing is an eraser a pencil with an eraser or just another eraser and um a coin any coin you want any size just Something round that you can draw around. Okay. So, shout out to my cousin, Julie, who inspired me to draw a giraffe today. So, you are going to start by grabbing your coin. And you're going to put it about the lower, lower bottom, the bottom of the page. Not too low, because then you still got to draw the legs. So, right about here. Yeah. And then you're going to draw right around it. Like that. And then you're going to do another one, just a bit lower. Like that, right? And you go, gonna go a bit lower and then to the side. Making sure it still overlaps. And then you're gonna tr trace it again. Like that. And you're gonna do the same thing little lower and to the side like that perfect now this is what you should have right now um so once you have this we are going to start doing the legs so I'm gonna start off with the back leg right here so what you want to do is just make like a little oval shape well, not necessarily like an oval but something like that I don't know what type of shape this is. I'm guessing like a triangle or something. Anyway, so along here you're gonna go down to about there. And then from right here, right here you're gonna, gonna make a line coming down to there. And then you're going to connect these two like that. Yeah. And then you're going to draw a line from that from the tip going all the way down. About there. And then you're going to draw like a little triangle at the bottom. For the hoof. Okay, so that's our first back leg done. Done. Now for the next one, I'm gonna do it right here, where these two points when when this crossing meet when they bleh, bleh, uh, where these two um, circles meet, right there. We're gonna do about the same thing here. But then it's going to go behind. And if you don't like how it looks at first, you can always just erase it and redo it. Or just redo it and then erase the extra lines. But that's harder to do than just to erase it first and then 
right after. Okay, and now for the bottom half of the leg, I'm gonna do the same thing that we did here. Just make a line and bring it down. And then the hoof. Okay, so we finished our back legs. Now we're gonna do the front leg. So for this one, we're gonna kind of like go with this, this curve. Gonna go like this, and then can make a line going down, all the way down, until the same spot where we finished, like that, and then the hoof. And now here, um, from the meat, from the crossing point right here, gonna do the same thing that we did over here, but this time on this side is gonna go be curved, and these all should be stopping at the same spot. Forgot to mention that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the neck of the giraffe. So again, going with this curve here, gonna make a diagonal line, just about that high. Yeah, about that high. So right here, we're gonna now make like an oval. An oval squarey face. Like that. If it doesn't look the right proportion, you can always just erase it and do it over. Um, here it looks actually really small. So I'm just going to erase it and make it a bit bigger. Perfect. Now we're going to make a line right about the middle, a bit higher than the middle. Let's make a line like that a curved line and now we're gonna make just above that the tips of the lines we're going to do two little triangles triangles what I'm talking about diamond shapes Like that. Those are going to be the ears. And now two little half oval shapes. I guess you could call those. The tip of the head. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to do the other side of the neck. Which is going to be like... So you know how some a lot of people... Just draw like a line going down like this for the giraffe's neck. And that is not how they look in real life. And we're doing a realistic giraffe. I always do realistic stuff. So for realistic, you're going to have to make it diagonal. Like this. And make it thicker when you're going down like this and then you're gonna like 
almost touch the tip of this circle, but you're not going to. Just almost touch it and then have it curve down, to, down here, like that. And if it doesn't look quite right, again, you can always just erase it and redo it. And after we finish this, this line, we are going to make the main. Which looks really, really cool once it's finished. So right about here, the main, just have a line come out, go down here, and right about there, cut it off. Mm -hmm. And now the only thing missing for features is the tail. So it's going to make a line like that and a little like teardrop coming out of it. Like that. Okay, so now those are the all of the lines that we're going to be erasing once we're done. So now let's get into more detail. Okay, let's start with the legs. So the first leg that we did was this back leg. So for this back leg, you're going to make it a bit more thicker, the lines. And then here, there's going to be a knee. So you can just like round that off a bit. You can make like a little knee circle if you want. You don't have to, but you can if you want. Um, so right about here, in the back, there's going to be a little point. And then it's going to go in and out. And it's going to make a little bump right there. Then that's the hoof. And then you're going to bring this line back up. Here you're going to make a little bump there. And then you're going to bring it back up. And then you can erase extras. Like that. Now here... For this stomach, you're just going to trace that, that line from the circle just until right there. And now for this one, you can do the same thing. little bump right there through the hoof and then just do the same way as before like that now for these little bits you are erasing I recommend using a pointier um pointier eraser than using one of these okay so now for this leg this leg is going to be a bit more tricky because you're gonna make 
there's going to be a lot of detail here. Or you can also do the detail in the other ones, like the kneecaps and stuff. Um, but here we're going to start off by just doing a line. Going from here to like right about here. Like that. And then do the same thing that we did with the other ones. Just stop right there. Now here, once we've erased all the extra lines, so right here, we're going to do like a little C shape. that and then little line and then another little C shape like that yeah now for the the other front leg which we didn't really do an outline for because it's just two little lines so it is comes make this a little bit more thick because then here's the other leg and then here it comes out right right after this little bump so it comes out like this and then you just do the same little bump there for the hoof like that Perfect. Okay, so now we have finished our, the legs of our giraffe. Okay, now we're going to do the neck, which is technically just tracing the same line that we did before. Okay. And now here for the head, the head is going to be really complicated, so I'm just going to zoom in on the head. Okay, so right here, we're going to make little rectangle like that and then there's gonna be another one here gonna go in there like that I know you're probably wondering why on earth would you do that on a giraffe's face well it'll all look may and make sense once it's finished and now here, you can just make a few points by just pulling that in, making it like that. Okay. And now here, this line here is where we're going to put the eyes. So we'll just do... actually a bit too far out and this one going especially if it doesn't look quite right 
do erase it because if it doesn't look right when you're done it's gonna look that's gonna damage the whole picture okay So just like that, two eyes, and now the ears, don't worry, we're going to get around to the nose, but for the ears, I'm going to go like, it'll curve up, point right there. Like that and now here we're gonna make a line going right down the middle and then just do a bunch of fluffy stuff and do a little circular motion along that line okay now here we're gonna just go over same line that we had, just like that. Now, let's color in the top parts. And then here, we're gonna make a line going straight down. And then have two, two extra little lines coming down like that. Like that. Try to make it in the center. Now for the nose. Now this is going to be super hard. Well, this is might not be super hard, but it's definitely the hardest out of everything. So, make... Two little lines like that, and then... Like that. And see how this doesn't match up at all? Well, you can erase that and then put it in the right spot. But then try not to erase a lot of detail because then it'll be fairly hard to put it all back. Okay, so now you just have to erase this little bit, this little line right here, but I'll do that at the end. So just fix up this little, this neck here, like that. And now for this, I'll zoom out now. Now for the other side of the neck, where the mane is. So just trace the line that we did before, going all the way down till there. Now, I said the mane looks really cool at the end and this is why so you're gonna kind of go like 
like a circular motion here, so it's going to start all the way from the top. Then make it bigger as you go down. Like that. See, this part of the neck does not look good enough for me. Because I am a perfectionist in drawing. And it does not look good enough. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, the only thing left to do are the splotches, I guess you could call them. Splotches on the giraffe and the tail. So let's do the tail first. So just do like a really narrow triangle. Actually, a lot more narrower than that. Let's do thick. Sort of like that. And then here, this ring jump that we have, um, we're just gonna make it a bit longer. And color it in a bit. Like that. Okay, we are almost done. Um, now we only have to erase all the extra lines. And then we'll do the splotches. So. First, I would erase these big circles in the middle. If you didn't erase the circles from the knees before, do them now. And once you've erased everything, your giraffe actually looks kind of naked. Well, at least that's what I think. Don't you think so? Without all the splotches. If you erased any of the lines that should stay, just um, trace them over a bit, like that. And now, actually before we do the splotches, let's do a little shadow to make it look like it's actually standing on something. So just slightly scribble right around where it's standing just lightly scribble kind of do like a bit further down for the neck like that okay now for the splotches the splotches can be any shape well not any shape but like any form or yeah, I'm just gonna show you. So like it can be any type any from a splotch. As long as it's a splotch. Like when you're um splotching paint. 
on a canvas. It's supposed to look something like that. Um, also, do, don't do the head because the head doesn't have any. And yeah. Like that. And then you're going to do that throughout the whole body. Except for under the, where the knees are. And the tail. And um, you can do them any, any, and really any shape you want, as long as it's a splotch. Because each giraffe's spots are unique. Every giraffe's pattern is unique. And make them as big as you want, really, as long as it doesn't take up too much space. And do them as tiny, tiny as you would like as well. If, um, personally, I like doing the big ones first and then just filling in, filling in all of the empty spaces with the little ones. But then further down you go you further down you go you want to make them a teensy bit smaller. So up till the about right there on all of them. And if you wanted, you could also, you could also, instead of doing splotches, like if you want your giraffe to be different and really, really unique, you can add triangles or even hearts if you wanted. Because, I mean, it doesn't have to be splotches if you don't want to. Even though giraffes do have splotches. I mean, if you want to be creative, you can do that. And don't forget to do them on the back legs as well. You don't just want the front legs, the front, uh, front two legs, to be decorated. You could say that. So now the outline of our, all our splotches is finished. Now you just have to um, color them in when you're going to go over it with a pen. If you're going to go over it with a pen. If you're not, then you can just color it in with your pencil. If you're gonna do it with pen or a sharpie or something, I would recommend rewinding the video to when before I erase the, the 
extra lines go into there and then just go into there with pencil and then from there on do it with like before you erase the lines fine line it or do it in sharpie from then forward And if you're gonna color in your giraffe, obviously don't color in the splotches with your pencil. Color it in with whichever colors you'd like. Almost done. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but you also want to color in the hooves. And we are officially done our giraffe. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe, click that like button, and turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload, well, this, this is actually my first upload in like a month, but I upload usually about every week. Depends if I feel like it or not. Anyway. Bye, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.